Long range models continue to show the chance for tropical cyclone formation in the Gulf and Caribbean in the coming weeks. And once again, in the plains, we have a marginal risk for severe weather. We are likely to stay warm across much of the lower 48 for the rest of September, but let's take a look at what our long range models expect for October. It's September 19th, 2025. Let's get into the weather updates. Tropical Storm Gabrielle is expected to become Hurricane Gabrielle within the next 72 hours. Although, as you can see, there's likely to be no impacts to land, and that includes Bermuda. I would still be paying attention, though, if you're in Bermuda, because this cone of uncertainty does get pretty close to you guys. Our disturbance behind this coming out of the MDR does still have a 20% chance for development over the next seven days. And some long range models, including the Google DeepMind model, does continue to show the potential for tropical activity out here in the Western Atlantic, Gulf, and Caribbean over the next couple of weeks. We've seen this trend over the last few days actually get more and more bullish, so it is definitely something we're gonna wanna watch moving forward. We do have a marginal risk for strong to severe thunderstorms today out in the plains. This does include portions of Kansas and Nebraska. And with this comes a 2% risk for tornadoes, so make sure if you're out in this region, you have a way to get your weather alerts today. Timing-wise, most of these severe storms do look to begin firing off as we get into the early evening hours, and they could last until Saturday morning. The Canadian model does continue to see below average temperatures as we move into October for much of the plains and out east. Although in the short term, at least through the end of September, it does look like much of the states is going to remain slightly above average. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follower sub. I make posts like this every day, and I stream five days a week to try and answer all of your weather-related questions. I'll see you in the next video.